In this video, I'm going to show you how to create some mind-blowing VFX shots and blend them into your own footage. Using this method, you'll be able to create eye-catching social media posts or to elevate your storytelling. I'll share with you some of my favorite tips and I'll show you a short film I made using these effects. So let's get started. I'll be using Runway's Gen 3 video generator to create these VFX shots. So to start off with, you need a video. I was thinking what could be a cool visual effect, and I think explosions are one of the more impressive effects you can do. So I filmed myself getting into my car, and then I want to generate the car exploding after I get into it. So for best practice, you want to have your camera locked off on a tripod, or in this case, I just propped up my phone on a table outside. Now, you want to make sure you've locked focus on the objects that you want to stay in focus. Otherwise, if you leave autofocus on, the focus could jump around depending on what's happening in the scene. You also want to make sure auto white balance is off, otherwise there could be shift in color tone throughout the video. So what you want to do is take a snapshot or still frame from the video at the point of where you want the effect to happen. So in this case, it's when I get in the car, I will pause the video and take a screen grab. All right, so I'm in Runway's website and I'll just click get started. So I'll add the screen grab of the car into here. And you get to choose whether you want this as your first frame or your last frame. What this means is if you choose first, this image will be the start of the video and then it will change from here. But if you use the last frame, then this is what the end of the video would look like. For this first one, I'll just choose first. Now for the prompt, I want the shot to be as still as possible, so it's best to use words like still or static shot. And in this one, I've put still tripod shot of a car exploding. The camera remains still. And I'll just choose five seconds for this. So I'll click generate. All right, and that looks pretty cool. There's some amazing looking fire and smoke simulation happening there. That's really, really impressive. And as you can see, the shot has remained still, which will help you with stitching it into the original footage, which I'll show you how to do shortly. Now I'll try it with the last frame option. So this may look like this video, but kind of in reverse, as it should explode first and then revert back to the car. Okay, that's really interesting. So as you can see, it starts off with the car on fire, and loads of smoke, and then it just gradually disappears. I think it's done a great job. What's really cool is you can see the shadow of all the smoke on the ground, and those little touches just add to the whole immersion and realism. That's really cool. Okay, so now let's have a look at transforming and growing. For this one, I got inspiration from Runway's video where they made a plant grow while someone was spraying it. To start off, I'll just start with a simple image of a plant I took and let's make it grow. And then I'll show you a video with myself and the plant in the same video. You may have to play around with the prompt as sometimes the shots don't remain static and they kind of change the camera movement. But for these kind of videos, we want to keep them as still as possible if we want to blend in with the original footage. So I tried a few different prompts on this one, and this is the video I got when I put in the prompt of a static shot of a plant, the plant morphs into a bigger plant. So if you just keep experimenting with prompts, you will get the results that you're looking for. And I really like the look of this video. It's a really cool visual way to kind of show a plant transforming or growing. And it looks pretty realistic, to be honest. Okay, so now I'll try a similar shot, but with me in it. So for this, I recorded myself spraying this plant. And you want to make sure that you have a clean plate version as well. What I mean by a clean plate is you want to get some footage of yourself out of the shot as well, as this is the image that we're going to put into Runway. And then after you merge the video from Runway with the original footage, which I'll show you how to stitch together later. So I took a screen grab from the video and I might actually choose to crop this image in runway just so that the plant is more in focus. And I'll give it a few different prompts. So for this one, I've got a static shot of a plant. The plant morphs, grows, and transforms into a bigger plant with more leaves. And I got this video. Now, while it's not as crazy as I thought it would be, it's still a really cool transition. And here's another plant that I put in the video as well. And instead of growing it, it's kind of placed it in from the top. 
which is different, but still looks pretty cool. Now, if I stitch it together with the original footage, it looks like this, and I think it looks really good. You can definitely have some fun with this effect. And here's a few more examples from this effect. If you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for more videos like this. We would really appreciate it. Okay, back to the video. Okay, so now let's have a look at floating or levitating effect. So I've got this image of a guitar, and I know it does have a broken string. It's just an old one we've had lying around. So I want to try make this guitar float or levitate. So I'll just give it a simple prompt of the guitar starts floating. Okay, so let's check it out. And that looks pretty cool. It's even got a really nice realistic shadow coming from it. So I stitched that together with the original footage and this is what that looks like. As you can see, I place it down the guitar and then it just starts magically floating. This is a very simple shot and it could be more complex, but this is just to show you the floating effect in Runway. I think it's an awesome visual effect to do and could definitely surprise some people. Now let's have a look at how good Runway is with simulations. So by simulations, I'm talking about like element simulations like fire and smoke and physics based ones. So I've put the picture of the car back in. Let's just say green paint falls on the car. And as you can see, it's done an awesome job at simulating paint. And it's incredible how it actually knows there's a car there and the dimensions of the car and the paint realistically falls down onto the ground from it. It's really, really impressive. So as you saw earlier on in the video with the smoke and the fire, it does really well with physics based simulations. And here's another one where giant leaves fall down. And apart from the leaves being gigantic, it looks very realistic. And it knows exactly where the floor is and it lays them down in a very realistic way. Now I'm going to try a shot of filling up a glass with liquid. So I took this screen grab of a glass I put on the table and I gave it the prompt of the glass fills up with black paint. And it's done an incredible job at noticing where the glass is and filling up that volume properly. Now it doesn't fill up the bottom of the glass realistically, but the liquid simulation looks insane. And you can even see the reflections on the side of the glass stay the same. So here's what it looks like when I stitched it together with the original footage. It looks pretty awesome. And here's a few more examples of simulation VFX that I've created. Now let's have a look at animating an image. So what I mean by this is an image within your video. So I've got this example of a bird book that I've got and I wanted to animate the bird, but nothing else around the video. So I've given it the prompt of camera is still, the image on the book comes alive. Now it's done an incredible job at animating the bird while keeping everything else still. This is such a cool idea as you'll be able to animate any images or artwork you've got. Like in this one here, it looks so cool. It's a really fun effect to play around with. Now let's edit the VFX footage with the original footage. So you can use any video editor you like. I normally use Premiere Pro, but for this example, I'm using CapCut's free video editor, which you can download for free. So I'll drag in the original footage and then the VFX footage. As you can see, the coloring doesn't quite match the original footage. So you may have to do a bit of color grading, but it shouldn't take too long to match the original footage. You want to move the VFX footage at the correct time you want it to happen. So I want it to happen as soon as I get in the car. So I close the door and if I play it back. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'll just do a bit of color editing. Make sure to go to the adjustment tab on that video and adjust the color grading just so it matches up with the original footage. And you can also choose to put a mask on it. So I've gone for a circle mask here. So as you can see, it creates a mask around that specific video file. And you can choose to feather it as well if you want the edges to be a bit softer. And you can also come to animation and put a fade in effect so that when this clip starts, it fades in. And then I like to use this adjustment tab up here to put in a, a adjustment layer on top. Then this allows you to change the color grading for the whole video. And if you want to add filters over the top, you can come to filters up here 
and then drag and drop them down. And this will also color the footage. So it gives it a bit more of a filmic look. So have a play around with these to find ones that you like. And then what you can do, you can select all your layers, right click and then select create compound clip and this will merge them all together. And then what I like to do is add some camera movement to it. So if you come over here to transform, you can click on this add keyframe and I'll move that keyframe to the start of the video. And then if I go to the end of the video, if I scale in, it will add a keyframe at the end of the video. So now if I scrub through and play it back, it will do a zoom in. And then another effect that I like is to add some black bars to the top and bottom just to make it look a bit more cinematic. So I create a compound clip again. I'll come up to effect and write in movie. And there's one here called movie and I'll drag that on. And it adds these really cinematic bars on the top and bottom. So we play that back. It looks pretty good. And then from here you can add sound effects or whatever you would like to your video. Now I'll show you how to edit the footage together with yourself in the shot. So I've added in the footage of me spraying the plant and the runway video of the plant growing. So as you can see in this video I'm spraying the plant but nothing is happening to the plant. And then you drag in the video on top of the plant growing and place it where you want it to be in the video. Now this is where we have to use the mask tool. If you come up to video, click on mask, you can see I've already added a mask onto this plant. So as you can see if I move it around, my hand starts to disappear there. But you just want to get it so that the plant is in shot and yourself is in shot. So just position it correctly and you can change the shape of this mask if you want. So as you can see as I scroll through, my hand doesn't enter where that masked area is and it looks pretty good. Now you can notice the leaf kind of comes out of the mask there. So you can just choose to move the mask a little bit. And if I play it from here, it looks really good. So be sure to experiment with this masking technique as you can add yourself into the scenes with these incredible visual effects. And I've actually created a short film using all the techniques in this video. Plus I added some sound effects as well. So here it is. I am really happy with how that video turned out and it just shows you you don't need to have a huge budget to create some really good looking visual effect shots. Okay so we've reached the end of this video and I hope you can see how powerful this tool is for creating some insanely good VFX. I urge you to go test it out, try create some awesome looking shots and just have fun with it. Now, if you'd like to comment down below on any prompts you've got that will help create some really cool effects, please leave them down below. And if you could like and subscribe to our channel, that would be awesome. If you would like to watch any of our other videos, feel free to click the image you can see on screen. Thanks for watching.